Okay, so we're going to be looking at a demo example of the DAML smart contract integration with FAT tokens. And what we're looking at now is just the FAT wallet where we can see uh, some FAT token addresses uh, for this uh, coin I made uh, called Example Coin. Uh, so for this example, we have three parties. We have Alice, Bob, and Charlie. Uh, and as we can see here, Bob and Charlie both have FAT token addresses. Uh, the architecture works uh, such that Alice is the operator in this scenario. Uh, and that basically means that Alice is the user who is actually interacting with the blockchain. And Bob and Charlie can send and receive tokens by having a user contract with Alice. Uh, so for now, we can just see that Bob and Charlie uh, have 10 and 15 example coins each. And if we see the transaction history, we can see that the only transactions were the initial issuance transactions to Bob's address and Charlie's address. So now we can go and look at the navigator. So this is a DAML navigator. Uh, we have the DAML sandbox uh, running in the back end. Uh, just running a simple example scenario so that we can have some contracts uh, to look at here. Some example contracts using this integration. Uh, so if we go to Charlie, we can see that uh, Charlie already has a user contract with Alice. And this user contract uh, has a couple of options. Uh, so the basic option is just the user send fat token. Uh, so this allows Charlie to specify a from, to, and a value in addition to a token ID, which just says what FAT token do you want to send. Uh, and this is the basic FAT token contract. So all other more complicated contracts, if they want to send FAT tokens at some point, uh, they can instantiate uh, this contract as a consequence of some other actions. So to, for now, to show a more non-trivial example, we will go to the user create send with approval. Uh, so in this scenario, uh, basically, you have a owner who owns it. You have a payer, in this case, Bob. You have an approver, which we will also put as Charlie. Uh, you have the relevant uh, coin, which will be example coin in this case and you have a max amount without approval. So what this contract is actually doing is it says that the payer is allowed to make fat transactions as long as the amount is below the amount without approval specified on this contract. Uh, and that means that in this case, if Bob wants to send more than the max amount without approval, it will need to be approved by uh, the approver, which is Charlie, before that transaction will actually be sent. So right now, Charlie has a user contact contract with Alice. Bob does not have a user contract with Alice, thus could not normally send FAT tokens. But in this way, Charlie can extend the ability to send FAT transactions to Bob uh, with some kind of constriction that uh, it has to be approved among uh, above a certain amount. Uh, so we're gonna start with just five tokens here. And once we create that, we can see that it's visible for Charlie. And now going to Bob's account, we can see that Bob can also see this contract. Uh, so if we go to this contract, there's an option which is make payment. And using this, Bob can send fat tr transactions of the specified coin example coin. Going back to our addresses, uh, we can say uh, if Bob wants to send Charlie some fat tokens, we can fill in this with Bob and Charlie's uh, fat addresses respectively. And let's start out by putting something that's below the amount. So we would expect this transaction to go through uh, without needing approval. So if we hit submit here, we can then go to contracts and we can see that there is this signed transfer transaction. Uh, so basically, since this was below the specified amount, 
uh, the transaction was signed and submitted to the Factum blockchain. We can then uh, go back to our wallets and we can see that looking at transaction history, there has been a transaction from Bob's address to Charlie's address of three FAT tokens. So let's try to do the same thing now, but let's try to send an amount above the send without approval. So if we go to make payment and we say, okay, Bob wants to again send Charlie some FAT tokens. But this time it's gonna be say six tokens. So if Bob tries to send Charlie six tokens, we can see that there is now an unapproved transfer request, which is a different uh, contract that therefore needs approval of Charlie before it can actually be submitted to the Factum blockchain. So going back to the role of Charlie, we can see that he has access to this unapproved transfer request. So looking at this transfer request, there is a accept or reject, a reject option. Uh, and Charlie can accept that transfer request. And we can see that if we go back to Bob, Bob now has another signed transfer transaction. We can see all the transfer transactions in the FAT token column. And we can see that the second transaction had a value of six, so this went through. And if we go back to our FAT wallet, we can see that another transaction was made uh, from Bob's address to Charlie's address of six FAT tokens. So this is just a simple non-trivial example of something you can do with Daml smart contracts that you could not do uh, using the send and receive ability of, for instance, a FAT wallet on its own. Uh, so having this integration allows us to uh, add some logic to these transfers.